Gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity, seize everything you ever wanted in one moment. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, welcome to the stream. We finally made it. Opening weekend, 2024, spring seasonal. We're coming at you, baby. We got a we got a banger of a match. You know what it is. Uh, got Helos uh, taking on the circle. Helos, uh, North American squad, uh, a pretty damn good squad. Uh, they've done well with recruiting and they've increased uh, their overall player skills. They've got some some better shooters and some better tankers now. And uh, arguably, uh, I, would, I would put them in the top three for North America. Where on the other side, we've got the circle. And uh, I've covered those guys quite a few times when uh, I was casting for Syndicate. And they're a European squad, mostly uh, UK, if I'm not correct. Uh, chat will remind me that I'm wrong. But yeah, the, these guys have been competitive for quite a while. Some good shooters on their side. Uh, so I, I anticipate a really competitive match. Uh, Everybody guns real hard for seasonal, so uh, this is what we're doing out here today. So uh, let's see. Quick check on, on what's going on. I do have everything working. Uh, admin cam is good, so nothing to complain about. Oh, we do have a little extra treat for you today. We have a kill feed, and that's uh, courtesy of uh, the Circle uh, source code and his mates. I believe the other guys, excuse me, they've created this wonderful tool, so we're going to get to see that live in game. Also, while I'm here, uh, a shout out to my guy, uh, Florian. Uh, he's the guy behind the Helo system, uh, which basically tracks players and teams and tries to rank them according to skill and ability. So thank him. Well, I'm thanking him personally for all the work that he's done for me. 
uh, with the uh, 2023 winter seasonal stats. I've got some lower thirds that I'm gonna pop up in the match. And he was able to uh, correlate all those uh, those stats for me in a nice little spreadsheet. So I wanna big up him and say thank you very much. I was very helpful. What else do I have to say? Uh, yeah, the map itself, you can see right over here, uh, everyone's favorite SME, St. Mary Glees. It's a, a, a meta map, everybody knows it inside and out. Um, so I guess, yeah, without further ado, we can just jump right in and we can go over the strong points and, uh, yeah, but before we do that, you know, don't forget, you know, hook me up. Hey, I appreciate you guys for getting me over that 500 mark. That was a big benchmark for me. I was, I was happy to see. So keep that going, support this community, support the casters, all that good stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the main. And yes, sir, you can see in the upper right hand corner, the kill feed is working. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. So those of you unfamiliar with St. Marie or excuse me, St. Mary Glace, I get those SMDM maps confused. St. Mary Glace, SME is the map we're looking at. And hospice is one of the main or strong points in the mid hospice is, uh, you know, you've got this big manor with a courtyard and a busted up glider. And just to let you guys know, I will be coming from the American side. So if you can read on the bottom here, I'll be coming from this right side, whereas the, um, and, I, oh, and I will be casting the side of Helos and the circle will be coming from the German side. So hospice is, I like, I mean, you can see it's right down the middle. It's probably the best in my point or, or my point of view. Hospice is the best strong point to get. Then I guess it's, Progressively down the line as you go, you've got the church, the famous St. Marigolese Church right here, which isn't a bad strong point either. I mean, this is pretty well balanced as well. Either side can win. It's kind of positioned, uh, you know, maybe a little favor on the side of the U.S. But unfortunately, what we get most of the time, and some of these stat guys could probably tell me more accurately, this point, which is quick check, Quick check, <laughs> quick checkpoint. Uh, it's all flat, open, you know, these, these hedgerows here don't really block much in the way of MG fire, uh, obviously tank shells and all that can penetrate. And you've got these little cluster of little houses, sheds to fight over. So I'm really, really hoping that this is not the point. We do have a map flip, so we're gonna get an official flip We'll have time to go over. I did that little head to head like I did last time. I'm kind of liking that uh, just to show you where I think the teams match up in terms of strength. Um, so it's my little prediction of saying, you know, well, this is what I expect to happen. So as soon as we get the official flip, um, not even sure what squad I do have. Let me just check it guys real quick. I do have a DM, nothing much, just good luck and have some fun. That's great. Uh, let's see. So I don't have a squad yet to go into, so I, I'm gonna pick the, I'm gonna pick a uh, squad that has like one player in it, one squad leader. Again, boot me out, put me in no platoon. So anyway, yeah, I'm excited, man. I've been waiting on this for a long time. I know the teams, everybody gets geared up for the seasonal. It's like the, it's the one tournament that everybody really guns for. Not to say that the others aren't important, but I believe that this is the one that everybody feels most proud of if they're able to win. Ah, oh, shit. Checkpoint. Damn it. All right, we'll work with it, guys. We'll work with it. It's just going to be... Just because his name, I like Dirty Troller. Let's just jump with Dirty. Man, he's got that shit locked. Come on, my guy. Charlie, oh, the fat egg, I like the fat egg, good guy. All right, so we do have a little time while we're warming up to just go over artillery, some rules, et cetera, et cetera. Let me just get in this camera though real quick for you guys. And you just heard that plop, that sound. 
nodes. We might as well just pop this moment to just go over the, the rules. And do I have these rules? I do have them up. Hang on a second now. Okay. So season, seasonal rules are protected nodes. Panther is banned, obviously, because it's a little bit OP. And single artillery gun, obviously, can't be sniped off the gun. I think there's a script that will kick 10 players out if that were to happen. And, uh, yeah, that's not a good thing. So seasonal rules are covered. All right, that's getting built up. Oh, and now we've got a little time. I do want to go over the head-to-head. -head. I do think uh, Helos has an advantage. They, Like I said, they've gained a lot of quality players. Uh, so I do believe the edge in infantry and tanking will go to them. Artillery is always a toss up. I can't say I'm an expert on who, who does it to artillery well, uh, but I went with uh, the experience team. These guys have been around uh, Helios and communication and experience. It was a flip for me. I wasn't really sure. I, I thought maybe circle because they've been around. I've noticed from seasonal stats that these guys played majority of them all together last seasonal and experience. I, I took uh, Helios because I think that they played in more big matches. So overall, I think this is a slight to heavy lean for helos i'm not sure the outcome maybe four one uh so yeah that's my take so 30 seconds left let's get up to the line so the approach is is not going to be too you obviously want to control this this three-story building uh definitely control the north and probably going to see light tanks all types of tanks holding the MSR, uh, not allowing people to get into the sector, so they'll rush right up to the lines. Yeah, the, the rollout's going to be fun. Let's hook with our boys. Hey, and I hope everything goes off well with the stream. I hopefully fixed my error last time, so... Let's go, baby. Opening weekend. 2024 spring seasonal. Game time. Hell yeah. Snipes coming out. Catching any of them. Got a snipe. Another snipe coming out, missing. Timing's a little off. More on the way. All right, so teams are arriving right around the same time. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty even point to start off. Wow, this is absolutely an even match. You could barely even see progress. I mean, we see a slight bit of progress right now from the line. Excuse me, I said the line. My apologies, the circle. Like I said, they're bringing up the, the tanks, the medium, bringing it to the strong point. Circle decided and opted to go to that three-story building that I had highlighted earlier. Here's your three-story. Controlling that northern building and then working your way down into the strong point itself, checkpoint. So this is where the circle needs to work their guys down from the north. And Helios, obviously, once they've secured the strong point proper, they're going to look to hopefully fan out over the MSR West and then get up to the building north in that three-story. Commander has marked Panzer IV. Looks is straight on the point. Now he's committed, fully committed. So the infantry needs to do their 
best to keep him up. Somebody needs to sit on his six. Two tanks, man. They are all in for the strong point. Circle have committed all their armor. Let's go with the bird's eye view, try to get an idea of where everything's coming. Circle is definitely trying to take the house where you see Haza, Pop Tart, Throat Monkey Nick. That's the fight right there to, for, the, for the strong point. And they're just flooding guys, the circle that is, from the north, that three story I had mentioned. And things aren't working well right now because gunfights are going the way of Helios. They have control of the point proper. And I'm going to swing around north. They don't need the three story right off rip, but as soon as this point flips in their favor, they're going to need to hustle up, move north. They're going to need to take the area where Hova, Trauma, our commander baby burned today. So off the start, a nice opening for Helos. They're going to go up 3-2 in about a second, and it's official. Nice start by both teams, honestly, but Helos getting the better, winning those gunfights in the strong point. All right, I'm just checking my stream. It looks like I'm, I'm good to go. Question is now, do... Panzer IV is still up, so the, so the midpoint is still in play. As long as they keep their tanks and protect them, the circle has a chance to regain. The hardest thing to do on a, on a cap, and I'm going to check map for garrisons, and they did a fine job. Helos has map edge, garrison, one on the point proper, and then they're going to work to get this area. I think that's where the majority of... The circle has their guys, you can see, just to the north. A nice job by the line. Keep... Uh, I'll get that right. <laughs> the circle. By the way, the line is a North American team, guys. I'm keep screwing that up. The circle is doing a fine job of keeping their tanks together and protecting, not allowing infantry to satchel or Shrek. Now here we go. This is interesting. A small group of Helio players moving up to the to the house north. And now it's time for Helios to do is yes, cross the MSR like they've done. With tank support, Stuart's there. Now, is Stuart in a position where Panzer IV, which is right across. I don't think he has a line of sight. Scooty lands a rocket on the Panzer IV. They definitely have the Panzer IV marked. Okay, hearing bombing run perhaps. You do, running east-west.
Now, hold up. That's what I was wondering. I was just quiet for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. That didn't go east-west. This is the helio bombing run that I thought I was tracking. But actually, both commanders dropping their artillery strikes at the same time. Trying to clear out the point proper. Now, was that successful? Yes. Garrison was dumped. But we've got Renegade right on the spot. He will rebuild Garrison, I'm pretty sure. Right, flare going out over the point. Tanks are lit up. Down goes the Panzer IV. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt the circle big time. That creates a vacuum for what I believe is 76. That's 76 with the tank of wicks and OG. OG tanker. Now the next one that Wix has got his eyes set on in the distance. Did I say Panzer IV? Correction, that was the looks that went dead. Panzer IV is up. Now the Panzer IV is not that much of a threat to the 76. So Panzer IV is going to keep it parked and hide as much as he can. And 76 has done his job. It's just going to kind of retreat back. Probably get in a more defensive posture. And as you can see, now is this cap? It might be, it might be sector, excuse me, sector uh, progress for the circle. Not a lot of bodies in the circle. But this is, this is Hilo's inability to clear out the strong point. Or it could be the circle is just really playing well and not allowing them. Looking real positive, really, really positive right now. The line, the, the circle, oh my God. I'm going to have to write myself a note and stick it on my monitor. Jesus. That's unacceptable. I apologize. Circle, I apologize. Don't be too mad at me. But, I mean, this is a significant push. 50% cap, which means there's only about a minute left. If the circle can continuously keep that pressure up, they will recapture checkpoint. Now, where was the 76? Where did that go? Okay, Wicks and his group are back there taking shots from Meta Phil. And now, if Meta Phil can distract, he goes down. But, and there's the big respawn. Oh, he's on a uh, recon flare going out, obviously on a full reset. He loses. Given up that forward northern position that they were working on in order to secure the strong point. So here we go. Man, this is, these, these clashes are pretty intense. Good shit. Timbo, our sniper. D-nice or device.
Wow, and just like that. And just like that, Hilo's response. Oh, that is an OP by Andy. And maybe if we have the time, start popping up some of this stuff. So let's, once again, shout out to Florian for giving me those stats on seasonal. That's our squad leader today, Andy. Interesting how the line is switching up. Circle is switching up tactics. They move to map edge at the bottom. Then special. Getting to the bottom of map edge. They know that's a, fa a familiar, familiar spot for garrisons. And once again, man, it's just unbelievable. Back and forth. Just when you think you've cleaned the area of the circle... I mean, they're right back, and I, I guess that's because they have a front door garrison and some squad leaders who are positioning OPs in the sector. And it's Helos who's not able to really truly clean it out and move further west and clear out. Basically, wow, you can see it. They have not cleared out the eight. Maybe they're just focusing more of their attention north. And maybe they think they can just respawn. When problems get bad on the point proper and help out defense. And this is where if the artillery is dialed in, I want to think, let me see. Actually, I got a couple things. Let me see. Our, our artillery guy, I believe it's this gentleman right here. And we're going to pull up stats in one second just to see who's doing what. Wow, that sucks. Let's fix that. That's an, an abomination. There we go. So I don't see his name. Anyway, that might even be the wrong feed. But it would be timely if they had some artillery on this garrison. They can get a call out, man, artillery, getting the bodies, but you'd like to get Garrison, and he is just awfully close. He is just peppering the person on, on artillery for the circle, and that's really allowing this cap to take place. That's combined arms, and if now if tanks were available, they would move up, but this is a nice, a nice counter. Circle's doing a hella job. They pushed the MSR east, and now they are in the backyard. And there's our guy, Andy. Goes down. Got Ronan. Ronan's still up. This is looking very positive. Circle? I see what you're doing, Circle. I like it. Artillery suppressing that garrison on the point proper. Might have even eliminated it. I'm not sure. No, it's still up. Wix is anchoring. But you can just see from the south. South is covered. The point proper is filled with Circle. And they control... Three story. So this one's going to go their way, and they're going to claim it right back. Beautiful. Almost there. Come on, guys. There it is. Hella comeback. Man. And I said checkpoint was going to be trash today. Tells you what I know. I know nothing. Now, just like it was up to Helos to get Garrison up on the point proper. Baby burn our command today. Now, he's not one of your sit-in-the-back commanders. He's your front-line commander.
Yeah, he got he goes he goes hard. Talk about a guy who loves the game. Maybe a little too much sometimes. Timbo popping the flare. Now we're going to take a slide up north. Circle has got the northern building and they're further moving up toward, I guess once you control checkpoint, the next thing is to control St. Mary's, the church. And that's what we're seeing. The Pope's going up there to bless himself. Solo handcuffs. All work in the MSR. Our fourth, our fourth point four helos, cemetery. And it, it's hard to say. I mean, with so many bodies still not cleared out of the the point proper checkpoint. You know, this is where you got to have. A commander who knows how to manage your squads. You don't want to overcommit to the attack on cemetery and leave yourself vulnerable on the back end to checkpoint, which you just busted your ass to get. Now, Martin is just going to be a menace right here, sitting on the wing of the glider. Now, he, depending on how long he can stay up, he's got a hell of a vantage point. And I'm sure he can shoot into the back line. All right, let's get down and dirty. Let's get down in the trenches, so to speak. Jump on with my man Haza. Squad leaving today. Haza, let's grab on with you, buddy. Oh shit. I shot the hell. Now that might be his OP. He was trying to work his way north. So you got Renegade. Oh no, never mind. That's Renegade's OP. And the squad lead. Alright, big map. What do we got? Got a garrison to the north. We don't have anything in the cemetery. The back line looks kind of weak. They do have an attack garrison all the way to the north. I think that's just a foothold position just so you can get yourself in the back door. E column as far as you can build for an attack garrison in the red. Second bombing run. Precision strike to the south. Is it on this guy right here? Tiger, did it go off? Must must, must have missed it. Well, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised and, and, and happy. Circle is definitely got my attention. These guys are doing a hell of a job. I thought this game was going to be a really tough one for them. But uh, they are playing wonderfully. I mean, they have now cleared out, for the most part, minus a, a squad, maybe two squads. But they, they are in complete control of the checkpoint. And now they're starting to loop around. If they can take care of this small group, man, that artillery, whoever that artillery guy is, you got to buy that man a beer. Because he knows exactly where the front line is. Absolutely helping his infantry clear space. Now you got your lane holders. Let's get down here. Let's show you what it looks like on the actual battlefield. Joe with the yeet grenade. 
Dav, go around the corner. What do we got around the corner? Peek up toward symmetry. Now they're staged up pretty good. Flare going out over the cemetery. You see that going out. So the circle is really, really serious about this fourth point. I mean, recon isn't even sitting in the back trying to protect garrisons and not allow the opponent to flank around. These guys are front line doing recon, flaring. And we're already seeing guys in the strong cap. Iron is in the strong point itself. You know, and after about a good 30 minutes of just intense battles, things are starting to slow down. Lines are starting to be formed. This is where you start to box out and clean your sector. Uh, I think the time for quick caps are over. Teams have kind of settled in. Garrisons have been placed, and now it's it's about to, the grind, we call it. The grind is about to begin. The long grind back for helos is about to begin. So for, for helos, this is a, uh, I believe I want to say this is a uh, strong point. So controlling the area just adjacent, the checkpoint, is huge. So we'll bounce back and forth between checkpoint and to the north. We're getting some helio penetration, excuse me, circle. Starting to pierce that defense. A little interesting today. City, who's uh, normally a, uh, if I remember correctly, City, aren't you normally a arty guy? Could have sworn you were arty. Follow city around. Guess he's out sweeping, just trying to clear out the area to the south. So, yeah, they're out there, city and the boys, troller. Again, controlling the area by the church is going to allow you into checkpoint. Front door is difficult. I guess once you've got guys on the broken glider, if you hold three-story, there's going to be a lot of ways you can position MGs to st stop infantry along with some artillery. And then you got guys like this, Arctic, elevated position, gets on top of building. And that's tough sledding for anybody. Scooter goes down to Arctic. Right. Tank in the distance. Not sure the make. What do we got? Heavy. Yeah, look at that. Let's slow that down a little bit. Martin. Arctic. So yeah, once again, coming across directly into checkpoint is going to be really difficult. So that means the area to the north by by the church 
controlling this area and then working your way south this is hard to clear out infantry knows it these these backyards you got a couple ratty SLs this area is so extremely difficult to clean up so quick recap off the start both teams got clean starts I didn't catch any snipes both arrived arguably right around the same time there was a little seesaw back and forth but after about two three minutes of fighting we had Helios take the midpoint and they went up three two and they were unable to secure therefore a nice counter from the circle down goes p4 and the circle is captured and now have held checkpoint now for the last 15 minutes so that's where we are 30 minutes into the match flex mr sane gets a drop His, did he get the satchel on? I know he was a level... Level 9 assault. I don't think he had time. Iron gets taken out by... Devico. Now this... Was that medium? Yeah, medium. Yeah, you're in a... He was satcheled. Nice job. I was going to say, you're in no man's land being out that deep without infantry support, but he was satcheled. I guess he was just on a YOLO mission trying to take down garrison or infantry. park it here and just kind of roll around i mean it looks i wouldn't say well maybe comfortably at this point because small little pockets of helio players but for the most part circle is cleaning up and really truly pushing helios completely out of the sector and the areas to the north If you guys are liking the stream, do your thing. Give me that thumbs up. Would appreciate that, boys and girls. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying. So, with with the buildings being, uh, we'll, we'll call them the the high vantage points. Andy Arctic. It it would make a lot of sense, and we're starting to see a push now from the circle to maybe check to see how the defense is directly east.
So we've got Fortez leader up in the bell tower. He gets popped out. The other sniper, David. Yeah, definitely controlling the top of the tower is important. Just if you're not killing, at least you're giving information to your commander, to your squad leaders. You see everything. You see everything at cemetery. You see everything coming in from the <clears throat> from the east over here of, of checkpoint. I think this is where you've got your team communication and this is where you're going to see you know how much time the teams have put in and how well are they communicating um this is where we're going to see how much of an advantage we'll say that is for the circle again i told you from the pregame that these guys work uh, or have been sin since the winter seasonal 23 together when I was looking at stats a lot of these guys names popped up they didn't have a lot of turnover so I imagine these guys have played many competitive matches together and as long as they're in those preferred positions and are communicating well you know a team that communicates well can actually beat just pure shooters now bombing run Right directly below us. Circle bombing run. Wow, and uh, tanks are just going to sit and hold. So here we got bottom of the eight. Now these guys have been here pretty much the whole entire time. I'd imagine rep stations are up. Well, we're up. We've got double tigers, a double tiger stack. Our other tankers, Desert Fox, knocked and uh, gotcha. I mean, these guys will sit here. These Tiger tanks will sit here, paired up. There's nothing coming across the bottom of the eight. You can just count it. There's just nothing going to happen. Now, it is interesting as I have the OP right directly behind me. Fat egg. You need to kick me out, my guy. But, wow. No defense on the back end. I mean, this takes some some big sweaty balls to run open field let's go man let's go uh oh nah. now you gotta get in front you gotta predict where he's going my guy uh, down he goes then 10 on the on the job Valiant effort, though. That was tough. Now, did OP stay up? Yep. And Garrison. Attack Garrison. Wow, that is... That is very encouraging. Because I don't think they're going to... That is uh, the circle. Put guys. And we have Garrison marked. Wow, did you just get one of those tanks? All right, Janice. Be a hero. Three shots and takes him out. Didn't finish the job and OP is still up. Janish gets his man. Gets his other man now. Got to finish the job, dude. You got to get OP, man. Come on, come on, come on. Get the OP. All right, he claps OP. And he gets smashed by... By Vice, but they did cap the SL, so I think this... Nope. Didn't didn't get the OP. Did get SL, but didn't get OP, although it's lighting red, and that's a very aggressive um, 
It's been locked out, Garrison. That's a very aggressive OP. And I think that's what you need to do. You need to soften up the front line and you got to get a couple of those guys doing those covert missions, getting behind, satcheling tanks, causing as much disruption. Because if you let any team, let alone a, a good team, you let the circle lock it in and they're just going to build rep stations and supplies will be dropped continuously. And good luck getting them out. Now that little bit of a a little bit of a push, we'll call it, causes Tiger Tank to kind of come back, check things out, make sure everything's good, pulls it off the front line. Now does that buy time for Helios to you know move directly into the cap? And I don't I don't see anybody really that interested in taking it from the eight. And things are kind of stagnant now. Everything is lane holding and... It's going to take, like, groups like this to stick together. Like, Dirty Troll. Dirty Troller. Bombing run, I'm bombing run, we got a precision strike. I totally whiffed, didn't see it. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to say things are pretty much locked in. I think maybe at this point in the match, we're, we're, we're Close approaching the halfway mark. Maybe at this point you start thinking, all right, stack tanks and... Because they're not able to do it with, with the resources that they currently have. So maybe Hilo has just said, let's stack tanks and make one big push. We'll hold the bottom here and we'll stack our tanks, our 76s, and then we'll push it straight across open field, try and overwhelm the circle and take checkpoint because I think that might be a better way than trying to get through all these backyards in and around the town in the area leading up to which is hospice I don't think we're gonna go quite that far up but the area around SME it's really really hard to dig out infantry and you can't rely on your tanks because yeah, where, where are you going to go? You can only hold the main road, MSR, and yeah, I wouldn't be putting my tanks here like they were down at the bottom of checkpoint. That's probably a better use of where you're going to put your Tiger tanks. And I'm going to say the longer this goes, the stronger and stronger the circle gets. Um, resources, let's just pull up map real quick. 600 on fuel. So a big will be coming out, or should I say a heavy 
Should be coming out momentarily. Here's our arty man for today. Gato rocket. The cat rocket. Alright, my man Peace made it. Busting off. Come on, Peace. Very hard. I told you the That was a flare going out. Was that 401 popping the flare? Was that Timbo? It's gonna be real hard. You, know, you got Arctic Ice. Or Arctic Zone. Excuse me. Arctic Zone sitting on top. You know. Helios would be wise to have a sniper just locked on these, these buildings, these high vantage points, if it's possible. They even have a sniper in the area. Which I'm not seeing that they do. So this is a pretty smart defensive. Stack your tanks, like I said. Tigers at the bottom of your four have guys in elevated positions on checkpoint proper. Push your infantry up and just make it a kill zone over open fields. And and the alternative is to go up north. And Helios isn't making much progress yet. So... Yeah, everything looks pretty good for the circle. Now, it's, I think it's their match to lose. This is no longer, you know, a, a, a pick them, a flip. This is the circle probably not going to have a better opportunity to win the match. You just need to hold, bunker down, you know, maybe throw a couple bodies on Cemetery to keep Helios honest. But you only got to hold it down for about 40 minutes. That's not a big ask, especially if you've got tigers, three tigers at this point. Are we, are we counting three yet? One, two, three tigers to the south. Very, very strong position. Circles making liars of us all. Well, I'll call that. That's me. I didn't think it was going to. I didn't think it was going to go like this, but good to good for them. They're absolutely playing their faces off. Mr. Sane. Fight over the corner. Yeah, so this is like the hit squad. We got Rico. Uh, if I remember correctly, some of these guys were from... Spanish squad. I, I know there was two. There was Bas Bastardos and then 501st. Not sure which he was from, but I de definitely recognize Rico85. A good shooter. Definitely a great shooter. That's why he's got that assault. Level 9. Bombing run. South north on checkpoint itself. We got anything going on out there? really seeing much so back to the corner chucks the nade but gets dropped by mongo i think
And you can just see, look, these guys really stay tight. Five guns. Five guns shooting at one object, one player. You're going to be able to clear some space. Out goes the nade. Iron knows there's bodies. Maybe he catches docks. So like I said, all these fights, all these engagements, and it's very grindy, very sweaty in there. And to make up that distance is extremely difficult. Whereas the open field here in the eight seems like the most logical one, but when you got guys in elevated positions and you've got Tiger tanks shooting at the cornfield. The other popular way coming in is usually through the cornfield. I mean, damn, you got a gun over here. Got a... Just in case you guys thought it was safe for the tanks, we, 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 we have three Tigers plus an AT gun, in case you were wondering if it's, if it's safe. But wow, that was a hella shot from distance. Where are we looking at? So, 76, taking the risk, coming through cornfields, and our guy Wicks needs to be careful. I think we're going to see somebody hop in that gun. Maybe Special gets in there. Oh, Belgian Gate going up to protect uh, any shots. Oh, and a vantage point, too, to shoot anything in the cornfields. These Belgian Gates... They're used more like ladders than actual objects to block. Now, Wix doesn't know. I, I don't think he has. Do we have a call out? We don't see anything marked, but he is just balls out getting one. Oh, Tank is backing up. Seven. Tiger's backing up right into. I know he's got a peak. Wix is dealing with AT. Takes AT down. Oh my god, he takes down the tiger. That's huge. There you go, Wix. Toma eso. Takes out the threat in the bottom. Now, what's left? Is that Panzer IV still sitting? No, that Panzer IV is done. But Wix, on his own, him and his ballsy three-man three, three -man crew are out here Clear in the bottom of the eight. Last, finish it up, Wix. Finish it up, Wix. Man, just shitting on him. Woo! When the hunter becomes the hunted. Well, a great run. That was well worth the risk of bringing that 76 all the way up. You've eliminated the threat to the south. You've taken out the AT gun. Now, Garrison just went up, as you can see, for the circle. Bottom of the eight. And we're going to move up north. Three stories still under control. Not many bodies in there. Yeah, I guess you don't need three story as much well defensively when you when you're holding the elevated positions on the point proper but you cannot not have somebody in there Do dirty troller he's a squad leader you can't leave this back door open now where is the guy on the the glider no longer there now baby burn sees the gap trying to plug it at least be present be in the area and that's that is a that is an issue that that to me is a communication error unless they've been overrun no they really haven't been overrun so this team just slipped in now it's up to Fuchs and 4-3 
here comes your float players. Mr. Insane. UK Ranny. Gets the quick clap. Building secured. Now park your ass in there because you'll they'll be back. And you can see the rotation. Just uh, David all sliding east. And once again, Arctic, he was knocked off. He's trying to get back, but he's not on the preferred building. And that's allowed Renegade, Pop-Tart, and DJ to get into the strong point. This is looking positive. Artillery, damn, Artillery's back. Artillery does a great job at holding. Now this is, this is a significant push. Wix got knocked out of his tank. Next 76 is up. Now he's not going to be contending with anything that Wix had to deal with. Now this, this looks good. Infantry can now push. Tank can suppress anything on top of these elevated buildings. Airhead uh, coming down. Is that, yes, that is a Helios airhead. Going to be smacked down. Or not, it's sitting right on the tank. Now that is a wonderful play. Commander, I applaud you. Where's our commander? This is nice freaking airhead, dude. That is a freaking 200 IQ play. Infantry needs to do the job and not let that thing get smacked down. On the back end, yep. See, the tank is automatically gonna draw attention. You cannot let people get close to tank or airhead. You have to cover your back end. They're too important. But if this airhead stays up, and I'm gonna keep close to it, along with tank. Oh man, iron, oh, artillery gets. Airhead still up. Definitely. Great shot, IR with the kill on the Sherman. Airhead's not completely locked out. It is contested. Bodies are flying in to protect it. This is where you need to smoke up. If I'm artillery, I'm calling SL. I need smoke on the point proper. We've got airhead. We've got our first spawn off. Infantry zeroed in. We need smoke. We need as much confusion. But that artillery, man. Big, big plays. Gato Rocket, our arty guy, is just lighting it up. He is Johnny on the spot. Now, I believe what Airhead should be gone. They did get one nice spawn off. Now, that's interesting. Three-story building. Hand Solo Cups. Takes out. We've got guys on the wing. The back end, man, they've completely hooked around. And panic alarm is going off. Last 30 minutes of the match. And I don't know. Is the pressure starting to be too much? I don't know. I think uh, well, we're going to find out real soon. Clean out your sector. Got that nice spawn circle. Don't sit on the point proper, clear. And you should be fine. Although tanks situation, not as favorable. Uh, Wix came through and basically decimated the entire line of tanks in the eight. So they're not working with tank support. Now they're gonna have to do the dirty work themselves. Infantry's gonna have to win their gunfights. Now bombing run. Helios with a bombing run. North-south down the MSR. Now that's OP that those guys just spawned in on. Bombing runs for some stupid reason doesn't take out OPs, but takes out garrisons. Oh, Don Vice. All 
All right, back up top. Everything is basically vacant to the north. Wow, this is this is shaping up to be one heck of an, an end because you've got an entire group not spawning in a forward position. So now these guys got to fight to get back to the front line. And the communication, this is where it breaks down. You know, people are not running to their right spots. Uh, clearly, the back end for the circle is not being covered. Pop-Tart and, and the boys. We just got, we just got dropped. But they've done the right thing. They've got in behind the defense. And whatever, whatever attention that they can draw on the back end pulls away from the front end. And this is, this is great. Great, com great comms, honestly. Great communication, great teamwork. And you've got, wow, a seven, six. Man, they are, they have, they have decided we're all in. We're just gonna put our 76 here. We're not worried about the Tiger tanks because there shouldn't be any. And they're going for it. This is basically an all in for Helios at this point. You don't bring your 76 and just put him in a position to get satcheled if you're not fully committed to this. This is a big push. This, does the circle have anything? Man, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm seeing it and got a feeling. I got a feeling it could flip back in the next, what, 30 seconds? Yeah, this is not even a stretch at this point. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it now. Helios taking back the lead in the next 15 seconds. They're gonna pull it three two back their way. Midpoint is checkpoint. All but official. Wow, how did that happen? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it went back to losing control of those those top buildings and the play by Wicks. Nice. Great back and forth. Three, two, Helios coming back. 25 minutes remain. Again, map, map, once you flip now, it's always a scramble and a race. The egg has a, an attack Garrus or a OP that's gonna cause problems. Nothing gone up on the point. You can see the north, north here by the three story is where the attack is gonna come. Oh, and the fat egg did kick me out of squad, but that's beautiful. He's got a full send. He's got his six guys in squad. So here it is. Now we've got to spawn in the cap progress on our fourth point. Rue de Gamblesville has temporarily stopped. I don't think it's that big of a problem, but uh, that, that pressure on that fourth point will now give... The gentleman here who fought so hard over checkpoint time to clear sector, build garrisons, and really solidify the spot. They've got both tanks still sitting on the point proper, and they're going to move out to defensive positions. Now, now it's the job of the infantry to clean up. Wow, how this just flips so fast in a matter of seconds. And I think that's the importance of having that. What did they have? They had this garrison here up the entire time. They kept flooding in, flooding in. And, you know, when they finally got, and when I say they, when Helios finally got the players from the circle off the top of those elevated positions and Wicks got the kills on the tanks at the bottom, that counterattack was successful. That took them almost an hour almost an hour to get there but they did it and now for the last 20 plus minutes 21 minutes plus it's up to helios to hold
Our little guy's on a YOLO mission. Looking to clean up any infantry. OPs. Boy Pro going for the three story. Gotta hold the three story. He puts down OP. Up to the top floor. Now he's gotta clean out Justo. He's on the second floor. Gets his man. Now Trauma's the next guy in the building. Now he's gonna clap OP. He does that. Now Pro needs to be super careful. Docs with the big kill though, helping him out. Now gives Pro time to get out of the building. Replace OP somewhere while somebody else fills his space. But that's great. You know, I'm not saying we're not going to have one hell of a final 20 minutes, but... <sighs> I'm... Oh my god, that artillery. You know what? It, could, it might just happen again. The Circle's artillery is so spot on today. Whatever gun battles... Oh, gets his own man on that one. But... He's been perfect when it came to, except for that one TK, but getting his infantry into the cap. Getting them into checkpoint. That's how they captured it the first time. And if history repeats, it's, he's going to do the same exact thing. Shell the point proper. And here it comes again. And I'm going to tell you what. Usually, SME, a meta map, is kind of stale a lot of the times. Man, this has been... A lot of fun, back and forth, anything but boring. And once again, shout out to the circle and source and excuse me for getting this kill feed. I think it's dope. You guys comment on it. Tell me what you guys think. Can't be hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> Sniper girl doing the dance on top of the rooftop. Gets taken down. 7 6. Not 7 6. Yes, 7 6. Sitting below on the point proper. Not the best position you want to be in. You probably want to do it. Slide it down, but you. So I guess the 7-6 is sitting, holding that line because infantry is just not able to get and penetrate in behind those sheds. 
So, 7 6 is going to try and help. Allow their infantry, allow the Helios infantry to get in behind because this is how they lost the point the first time. Always the cat and mouse. I mean, you can't even see it. This guy's peeking a little bush. But just based on where the tanks are, we've got a 7-6 at the bottom of the 8. We've got a 7-6 on the point proper. You got to deal with the tanks. I know the infantry and the artillery are working really well together. Circle's definitely doing above what anybody, I think, anticipated. Armor needs to have a day. Finish, finish this match out strong. Wow. Okay, not the 7-6. The so explosion got, like, excited, like, whoa, that I just, nothing. It was... I don't even know what the hell that was, to be honest. That was a rep station blowing up like it was a damn tank. Big map says, what do we see? We got garrisons in the F straight line on the line. Not much presence, but yeah, they're fighting on the back end. They're not in the E column, so they're not Defending forward. They're stuck trying to clear out. But I do like tank positioning now. Bringing the tanks up to the point proper. Helios recognized where they were struggling and they put all their firepower, all their tanks. They got tanks watching the, the main, the, the, the hard point, checkpoint, and they've got one to the south. Basically, they're crossfire and all their attention is on this area. And all they have to do now is just hold for another 13 minutes. But... This is, this is the thing they got to be careful for. Helios must be careful about this building. And if Pop-Tart and Ness can hold, there's, there's no chance in. These, these tanks from Helios are not letting the door, the front door, come open. And I'm sure artillery's dialed up. They, they should be dialed up on that one spot. I mean, recon's popping flares. And, uh... Artillery should should be de definitely lighting up this back area here on this building in this sh compound right here. I mean, that's the only way in. Now, new rep station that I see. Blueprints are already down. We have SUPS, we don't have SUPS yet, so it's gonna take a minute for that repair station to go up. So this isn't all in. Now tanks are moving up beyond the strong point. Anticipating a front frontal push. So this is when tactics have to change up and then the back end, you got to hook around from the back end when you realize the tanks are no longer on the back end defending. Now it's time to control. Bombing run. Circle bombing run.
76 comes out unscathed. A few bodies dropped on that bombing run. I guess you had to use or lose it. The way the bombing runs work, you got 10 minutes every... Every 10 minutes you have a bombing run available, you have to launch that out. He'll have another, the commander for the circle, he'll have another bombing run for the end of match. So that was good play to him. Trying to, trying to buy his infantry some space so they can take the compound. Desert Fox with the kill. My boy Haza, I, I, I gotta show you Haza. <laughs> this guy's got a great lower third. Just sipping on the t t t baby. Trying to jump out the window. Gets it done. Precision strike, perhaps. Further to the west. He's looking for a throat. Now, three story. There's your first start. A little crack in the door, a little crack in the defense. And artillery doing what artillery should be doing. Helping out that infantry, clearing out those, those lanes. And then switching it back up to the point proper. Now I wish I knew what the circles tank situation was like. But they might be might be holding them off a few more minutes, make that one big push. But it's going to be tough. You've got Wicks holding the eight. I think this tank right here is such a huge. You're funneling them. And there's 276, as you guys see right down below. You've got 276 is sitting low. I mean, bottled up. These guys are locked in on the same... They, there, there's no secret. They know exactly where the, the circle is coming from. So this is just a repeat of what happened to Helios when they had. Remember in the beginning they had the Tiger tanks, well over here, and stacked them. Now, now Helios is doing the same exact thing. Stacking there, 76s. And that's just the kill zone. These guys are bottled up, they can't move. Pull up the big. Obviously, our C, our OPC, is just to put pressure on Gamblesville. I'm, I'm wondering why not just throw some pressure on there. There's only eight minutes remaining. Start sending guys, especially if you're not being pressed. If you're not under contention, go put pressure on that fourth point. Make them think. Make them overcommit to guys on the back end at Gamblesville. 
Because in about five minutes, it's a full court press. I mean, there's going to be absolutely no defense being played. Why not throw throw a wrench in that? Send C squad. Send three guys to the to the cap and just sit there. Now, do I hear these guys moving up? No, nah, they're they're locked in. So it looks like Helios is content with saying, look, we'll let you spawn in here, but look, artillery's gonna shit on you. Our tanks are gonna control that you can't hook around. And look, now that they've controlled the three-story, uh, this is looking like GG. What a what a great comeback from, from Helios. I was really thinking the line had this, the, the circle had this in the bag. I really, really did. I was like at the 40 minute mark saying there's just no way they're going to lose this. And lo and behold, here we are. Four minutes, four minutes from a win. Opening weekend, 2024 spring seasonal for the, the boys from North America, Helos. Airhead right in front of you. Landing. Where's the blueprint? Is it landing in the courtyard? Rockets out immediately. Strafing run trying to protect. Is it still up? Is it down? Box is still up there. Nobody knows yet. Yeah, it's gone. Last chance for circle. Timing just a little bit off. Infantry not there quick enough to respond and hold that airhead. Especially you've got tanks. And this is it, it was a tough It was a tough thing to do. But you gotta throw it. Now Commander does have one more bombing run left before it's uh all done. He's gonna hold that probably for maybe another minute, but not much more. So we're all in. This is all in. Nobody on, well, a skeleton crew on defense. Gamblesville has basically nobody. And for the next two plus minutes, it's just gonna be all out. Balls of the wall, guns, arty, tank shells. Nice strafing run by command. This feels like a GG. We're less than a minute or about a minute. This it's up to these guys right here. They must gain the strong point check checkpoint 
and they got wiped. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much GG. We'll go over those scores in a minute. We'll just make it official. We're gonna hang in here for about another thirty seconds. But uh, yeah, this one's all but done. Here, here's the bombing run by the commander. Waited till the absolute last second to drop it. Fifteen seconds. You got to get the cap going. I guess the MSR probably should have ran it east-west. But that's a tough L. Congratulations to Helios for that that wonderful comeback in. Uh, Tough loss. Tough loss for for the circle. They played, at times, well enough to get this W, but in the end, Helos figured out how to crack that defense. So, pulling up the scores. Our commander with a 4,000 support score. Infidel. Massive game. 1,000. Those. Or dues. Same thing, a thousand on combat effectiveness. That's doing work. Another almost thousand men. These guys are putting up some big numbers. These aren't even tankers, so that's playing a great game. These guys m smashed. Our our, re our, our our artillery player here, Mr. Gato Rocket. Once you crack a thousand, those numbers are big. I'm sorry I didn't have those live stats. I don't know what was going on with those. On the other side. That's, wow, Cortex with 20, 21? What the hell was he doing? 700 for Martin. But man, 2,000, that must have been a tank. That had to be a tank. That's a day, boy. Oh, that's their artillery player. My, my apologies, Cortex. That's the guy who was just having a masterful game. 30 seconds remaining, boys and girls. We're about to sign off and get back into the studio. So that puts that puts Helios in a nice position up 1-0. We'll go over how the how the brackets and all these groups work. We'll pull it out into the main studio in a second. And there you have it, folks. 3-2 Helios getting a hard-fought, well-earned dub. Yep, so that's how it goes down. Uh, SME weekend uh, starting in the seasonal 2024 just got off, and Helios comes back with a nice... Nice victory today. 3-2 over a very game circle squad. I'm sorry. I kept calling you guys the line. I apologize. The line, the circle. I mean, Jesus, could be. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But we do have a second. I did want to just briefly, while I had the time, just uh, there There are some. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have them loaded up. I had them lo actually loaded up in the live scene. But uh, there's brackets, and I'm not going to go through that right now. But uh, that was Group A. You guys can see it over here on the poster, Group A. Um, and there's a bunch of teams, and I think it's kind of, if you know how the World Cup works, it's, uh, I think two teams will emerge from each group to get to the knockout phase of this tournament. So that's going to put Helios in a nice position, uh, and now Circle has to, you know, fight and struggle to get themselves back into contention to get out of this group stage. But, yeah, that'll, that'll pretty much do it here, boys and girls. Um, Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe notification. I'm glad everything went well for the most part with the uh, live stream. Appreciate you guys for showing up. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all we got for today. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, evening or whatever it is. Catch you on the next one. Peace.